All right, construction cronies, welcome to another metal framing video, guys. This is a comprehensive video. I'm going to be discussing parts of this entire job, going into really specific detail of the bulkheads. Uh, these are bulkheads for, uh, there's a T-bar inside of the uh, kitchen server area, and then it's all exposed on the other side. So I'm going to show you how I hang this bulkhead. I'm giving you details. So yeah, if you guys follow along, ask any questions you have down below in the comments, I'll be sure to get back to you and let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Here we have a new chop leaf location in Short Park, which we've, we've just finished a little while ago, but uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things on the drawings. Right here, you can, you can see the plan. This is where we're gonna start uh, framing. Okay, there's walls that go all the way to deck and you can see there they start from here. Okay, all the way to deck, all the way to deck, all the way to deck. Okay, actually, yeah, and then and then everything else is is at 12 feet. Okay, so this wall 12 feet, 12 feet, 12 feet, 12 feet, 12 feet. Uh, 12 feet and then there's a furring wall here at 12 feet as well all right so keep uh, keep that in mind I'm gonna show you uh, the entire actual process guys so yeah man we're kind of excited about this one this is a good framing job uh, a lot of guys have been asking how we do bulkheads for for t-bar and um, yeah this is this is kind of how we do it right but uh, you're gonna learn more than just that you can see also there's a couple of half walls some knee walls that we're gonna be doing right in um in the in the like the sitting section so down here there's some a half wall there's gonna be a ha there's a half wall down here at the bottom uh but yeah you'll see that uh as we go i'm gonna show you this whole framing job from start to finish guys and we, we did it in like uh it was less than two days we did this you can see here the big bulkhead this is a, a massive massive bulkhead and i'm going to show you how i framed this okay you can see this bulkhead with the uh, this like a ceiling here and then we have t-bar on the inside and all exposed on the outside so yeah keep that in mind it's a pretty cool build actually oh let me uh, get rid of that for you. Boom. But yeah, you can see there nice renderings. I love drawings with renderings, man. They're, it's just they're just so handy. Okay. So when we look at the wall types, you see there's that other knee wall right there, um, and then here's the uh, the elevations. Right. Um, it's interesting, man. Like I, I just. Uh, you got to read the, the, the wall details. You got to know what kind of drywall is going on everywhere. You got to determine what's going all the way to the deck, what's not. You see nice clean. Okay, so this is a furring wall. This right here is uh, a way that we do this, these furring walls. And um, this track that you see here, okay, is just screwed into the wall at, uh, at elevation, okay? And then we do the whole run, and then we don't have to cut our studs. They're 12-foot studs. We go 12-foot half-inch, right, to uh, and screw this track in, and then we uh, pin down the bottom track, and it's just a matter of we screw this end stud into the wall, and then it's boom, 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 just f f filling it in after, okay? So it's pr it's pretty easy. Nothing Nothing complicated there, okay? So just keep that in mind. But yeah, look at this cool trick, right? You can see close up right there. It's just seriously just screwed the track right into the wall. It's awesome, guys. Look, we have so many lasers. Anyways, there's our there's our our track all the way to deck. And if you take notice, um, our top track here in the clips. Okay, you see the clips. Our top track is going in between the structure, and we have all this duct work. Okay, so what we're doing is we're putting in steel everywhere, and we're uh, using Hilti shots to pin it into the structural steel everywhere we can. Like right there's another one, and we're going uh, everywhere you can. So we have a stud above the duct as well inside the track because I've got this track. Um, it's flipped up so the studs can get, go in. And basically, it's about framing it in as tight as you possibly can, okay? Getting steel everywhere you possibly can. And um, it's not like, um, it's not that hard, guys. Just, just, just keep in mind, just use lasers and keep all your structure inside of where they're supposed to be, okay? Um, you can see at the end here, okay, again, we're using this. There's two studs, and then we have a clip in between to pick up this header, okay? And we have a stud going up, right? So we have steel around there. Um, we might end up doing a, a full ceiling in this hallway at some point to hide these ducts, but that is, that is an extra we might do later. 
And then, yeah, there we go. We've got our all, again, all the way up to the up to structure. It's on the inside of the beam there. Just put headers in. Never move your 16s, guys. Always put your studs on 16-inch centers. Never move them over an inch or two because that's going to screw you. Don't forget with steel stud, you have to stagger where your bevels land on either side. On this right here, we just kind of want to show you, uh, check out Murat on his uh, stilts here in a second. But yeah, again, there's the steel again, and the, it's a wall, uh, the second wall. And then there's my um, other wall all the way up to the deck. And I'm just putting slots. You always put slotted track on, on the structure. All right. And standard truck track when it lands below structure. OK, but uh, yeah, check out Murat on his stilts here. I just we wanted to show you guys like um, a lot of places stilts are illegal. So make sure you check your uh, your state your like your local um, state municipal laws uh, in Canada here. Alberta, where we are, is like the only province. These are actually legal. Um, but it's so cool. I, I can't use them, but uh, I am Murat is a pro on the uh, on the stilts. And it, man, I cannot believe how much time it saves, guys. So just to catch up, I got the top track is all in. I got my clips already set up on the studs for where, I, where the two studs will drop down. You'll see eventually, you'll see here in a second. Um, all right, top track is all in. The front side here, drywall all the way up finished because it's all exposed, okay? On the back, back of the bulkhead is won't be finished. It'll just, uh, it, the T-bar will finish into it, okay? So we'll be putting a ceiling in here as well. So hang tough and uh, yeah, you'll see how we're doing. I uh, got this side done already. I'm gonna now, I'm gonna do the front, okay? I'll set this up and uh, you'll see on the time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so like I was saying there, I had pre-installed the clips on the ends here to pick up the uh, the two bulkheads. What I'm and the top track is already in. You can see the top track on this run and this run here. Uh, I, I I basically like I'm saying, guys, the inside here, okay, is going to be T-bar, and then on the outside, it's all exposed, so we don't have to. Um, uh, we have to drywall all the way up, tape finish the outside, and the inside is just T-bar, so we don't we don't have to really do anything. We're gonna put like a we're gonna put like a six inch uh, sorry about that uh, six inch strip of drywall on the in, on the inside just to pick up the wall mold, and that's it. Okay, uh, there's no actual reveal. It, it, the T-bar finish is flush. So what I'm doing now is I have a line laser. You can see over on the wall here. Okay, I've gone and I've checked the elevations for the studs. That was that was the uh, laser card. Okay, the green laser card. Because um, when I start doing track, I put a two inch offset. Okay, I, I lower the laser down two inches. But to get my um, uh, stud elevations, okay, I put the uh, the laser right at elevation. I measure the whole way because it's on a slope, okay, and I try to get enough studs in there where I can set all my track in, and I'm, and I'm taking about a quarter inch to three-eighths off the overall height, okay, or no, sorry, not, not a, like, sorry, three-eighths to five-eighths is a good number. You want more than a quarter inch, okay, uh, uh, but yeah, half inch is a, is a nice number to, to go, so take half inches off the, uh, the tight mark, and then you push your studs up. That'll give you, um, you know, hopefully they won't be interfering uh, with your uh, bottom track, okay? Um, I love the two-inch offset because then I can set both sides of the track, and I'm squaring all my studs and everything, and it's beautiful, okay? So the connections that I'm using to join the tracks together are fishtails. Nothing crazy, right? Just standard fishtails. Uh, I have pin lasers also pinning up my, uh, my like, my plumbing them up sorry and um yeah i got the uh, the line laser for the elevation okay uh so yeah simple as that okay i just i put i set my end stud in and i come in and i and i attach it to the the corner done okay you can see me and then i go back and i'm starting to finish in the uh the fill-in studs and booyah there you go there's the one you can see the laser lines it's pretty good pretty nice See, we added, I added the, I shot those headers to the beams to strengthen it up. Glad I did it because it was a little flimsy, but good stuff. The inside done. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with the stud there because the ducts, they probably got to attach to that somehow. So I'll just leave that out. This backside here is literally just for the T-bar to catch it and uh, to hold the other side of the ceiling. So, whew. All right, so you can see the fishtail uh, right here. Okay, basically what you're doing is you're cutting the center of the track up the middle, two inches up the middle, 
and uh, yeah, you're gonna put screws in there and there to uh, prevent it from moving. It's it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty straightforward practice for doing uh, your track. Okay, get the other one done. <laughs> And here we go again. So I, I have the laser set to the exact elevation and then I've measured, I'm just measuring my tracks across and I'm putting track in the, in between the I beams up there. But yeah, just seriously, just dropping my studs to, to, I go up one way dropping studs and then I go back uh, and then set my track. Uh, you can see uh, Murat, he puts all of his studs in and uh, it's not a bad idea but it's hard to sometimes slip your track in when you got all the studs in so and then they're embracing across to prevent the uh, bulkhead from moving uh, outwards and then you'll see once i got the ceiling part in it's going to be it's so strong like you can't you can't go wrong right but yeah go along hang some studs and then this way you can also check to make sure the green line isn't hitting any of them right and uh, just set it like i was saying just cut them a half inch shorter than than the elevation and you're, and you're laughing okay but um, yeah, so then I'm going to go back and I'm tying into the end where it's it's already tied into the clip. It's not going to come out, move anywhere. And I'm going to be squaring all the studs, measuring any any studs that I that I haven't put in yet. I can just measure uh, from track to track and put them in. It's super easy, right? So yeah, you can see it. I've done this all by myself. And like this entire job, uh, it took us. I think it was like ten hours to to frame everything on this job. It was pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, and Murat and I are pros, guys. So don't don't expect it to take you that to be that quick at first. Okay, like we've been doing this for so long. We're we're pros, so we're fast, right? Um, and we don't take any shortcuts. So it's a it's a pretty good system. Love working with Murat. But yeah, you can see there. And, oh yeah, and don't forget too to draw your centers, your 16s uh, along the way. So what I've done is I draw my centers on the ground and then I plumb them up. Okay, I draw my my 16s on the ground and literally I plumb them up so that I can plumb up a stud every so often in between these uh, I beams. Okay, that uh, that gives you good, um, you know, gives you. It's just easy, right? Just to plumb them up that way. But yeah, you can see I got, I got braces and everything's been lasered and it's going to it's going to look great. So uh, what I'm going to do next is install uh, angle on the inside. Uh, let me just pause this for a second. So uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come along and I'm going to install angle flush to the track on this side, angle on this side. OK, and then uh, use furring bar. I think I use furring bar on this one. Normally I would use use furring bar as centers. OK, in between. Simple as that, because my elevation is set, so now I no longer need a laser. All I got, all I got to do is angle either side of the bulkhead, and boom, we're good to go. But yeah, simple as that. And then I'm shooting, I'm shooting to all the structure I can. Okay, so oh, it looks like we use track and studs on this one. So same thing, just use track and you put your studs in. That's nothing like that. So there's their our knee walls here. Um, they have no structural support on this one, but wait till the end of the video and you'll see how we are reinforcing them. Okay. Uh, we have these heavy duty metal angles that we're using and then, yeah, check this out, right? So ceiling work is pretty, pretty standard. Okay. We're shooting, uh, our line laser and we're marking our elevations. Okay. We're putting our track. It's like just building a wall on, on its side. Okay. Like simple as that. Just like building a, a, a wall on the side and I, I'm putting two stud I put two screws in every stud okay I, I do two screws in every single stud even um, if it goes into like a wall I'm using inch and a quarters and I'm putting two I'm putting two in every one okay um, Murat did those ones I don't know if he did two it doesn't it looks like there's only one but it, for half inch drywall it's not that bad it's not bad. It's not that bad. I, I put two always, but for half inch dry, well, that's that is perfectly strong too. Uh, nobody nobody's going to be walking on on top of uh, these ceilings, so we're good to go there. And then yeah, this is the hallway. We got our doors in. Uh, just take notes, guys. See how we do things. Uh, you guys can learn so much just by watching us. And like I said before, if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them down below in the comments because I literally get back to everybody, guys. So there you can see a stud against the wall too in the back there. All right, you saw that right here in the back. Um, use inch and a quarter drywall screws and and hit uh, hit your wall studs, hit your studs, man, and you're gonna have a super super strong ceiling. No no issues, right? 
And um, yeah, that wall didn't have to go all the way up. They got a freezer in this one. This is for the mop sink, right? There's T-bar in the whole back of the kitchen at uh, like 10 feet or something like that. So, and then, yeah, let's see what we do our bottom track. We just stop it before and after the pipes. We're shooting it down with heel T things. This is uh, just a, that's just a bulkhead to come out. But yeah, you can see how there it is right there. That's what we are, we are using for wall sniffers. This is at the Devon Subway, but we bought these at Home Depot, 35 bucks each. And uh, it is like so freaking strong guys unbelievably strong but there's the there's the code but yeah if you have any questions oh make sure to leave them down below in the comments guys and if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification hit the like button for me love you guys be safe <laughs>